Hey guys, Shock here from Saki Tech, and in today's video, we have a brand new update for millions of Samsung Galaxy smartphones. Now, this is going to be a very important update. Let me quickly show you where it is. So, if you go to your settings, and if you scroll all the way down, and if you tap on software update, and tap on download and install, it is going to be the brand new update that includes an update to the November security patch. It is a sizable update. It is 610 megabytes. The version ending is AXK4. It is Android 14 and One UI 6.1. So we're going to install this update, but this update brings about a change to your smartphone that is critical to understand what is going on. It has to do with the security of your smartphone. So if you go to security and privacy, and if you go over to auto blocker, and if you go to maximum restrictions, some very important changes have happened in this menu. Now, this is before the update, and I've taken a screenshot of this screen, okay? Now we're going to go back, and we are going to perform the actual update, and then I'm going to show you what has changed and why it has changed. So let's tap on download and install, and I'm going to tap on install now. We're going to be right back after the update is in fact complete. All right, so the update is now complete. Let me show you exactly what has changed and we will look at all the other stuff as well. But the big thing is now when I go to my settings and if I scroll down to go to my security and privacy and if I go over to my auto blocker under maximum restrictions, there has been some changes. So let me bring up the screenshot of the old version. So this is the screenshot of the old version and look at this right here on the top blocks USB connections has been removed. So this says other devices won't be able to connect to your phone using a USB cable. Now you can see with the update that option has been removed. Now let me show you exactly why that option has been removed. So here we have the S24 Ultra with the blocks USB connection still here this is before the update and here i have another smartphone i have a usb type c cable attached right here and then i'm going to take the other end of the cable i'm going to plug it right over here i want you guys to take a look at what happens okay now when i pull this down you're going to see it says usb connection blocked because auto blocker is on with maximum restrictions which is what it's supposed to do but here's the problem it is also blocking normal operations. So for example, this is a perfectly safe setup. And this setup could be used for me to transfer data from this phone to this phone. So look at what's going on here. I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna go over to my smart switch data transfer tool. It's a Samsung tool. I'm gonna tap on send data. I'm gonna tap on cable. And you can see nothing is happening. I'm supposed to get a pop-up right over here, okay? So I cannot transfer data from one phone to another if this option is enabled. And a lot of people are not gonna know that and they're just gonna get frustrated thinking, what the heck is going on? So that is why this option has been removed. Now let me show you one more thing. I'm gonna unplug it. I'm gonna disable maximum restrictions. Now when I replug it, look at what happens. It actually is going to give me a pop-up so I can enable smart switch to start the transfer process. With the auto blocker turned on, I am unable to do that. In fact, it's not going to let me do it right now. I'm going to tap on OK, and I'm going to pull this out so I can enable it now. And now it's not going to work, okay? So that's the reason they most likely remove or reconfigure the block USB connections situation under the maximum restrictions probably one one of the reasons now after the update is complete even when my maximum restrictions are on and you can see that option has been removed I am now able to connect the other end over here and still perform the transferring of data okay so that's exactly what's going on at least one of the big things and I'm a little bit disappointed with Samsung in relation to this this seems like an oversight. Such a huge feature previously was blocked using maximum restrictions. That shows me that they're not thinking hard enough when they're making these changes.
it looks like they got the feedback and they have removed it. So now, even when you have your maximum restrictions enabled, you can still perform standard tasks when necessary. All right, so that is the big thing with maximum restrictions. Now you can actually have this on and not worry about the other situation. The next thing I'm gonna be talking about is the security patches. So there's gonna be a link down below. You can click the link. It'll take you straight to the Samsung mobile security website. And here you can inspect in detail the new patches that were applied for the November. Now you can see we don't have any critical patches but we do have a bunch of high patches. These are vulnerabilities that were in fact fixed. And then you have the moderate, but again, you can click the link below, you can access this, and if you scroll down, you can read exactly what these security fixes were. But you can see there's also other things right here, which is a direct patch towards vulnerabilities and exposures in the Samsung system and the Google system, okay? So you can read these using the link down below, and that's it. Now beyond that, nothing much has changed. It is as smooth as ever, this phone. And if I do go to the settings, again, nice, smooth as butter, but nothing, nothing beyond that. Now one thing I'm not happy with this, if you go to security and privacy, and if you go to updates, uh, the Google Play system update hasn't seen an update for November, okay? It is still running on October. So I'll update you guys once we get an update to this as well. But that's about it, guys. The biggest thing is the maximum restrictions reconfiguration. Any questions, comments, or concerns? If you notice something else, let me know down below. For now, have a fantastic day.